Renz Avery, wide receivers coach. All right. So, uh, Coach, give us a description of how you got into your coaching career. Um, I'd say it's probably 2008, 2009. Uh, got a phone call, was back from college. You know, really wasn't thinking about getting into coaching. Uh, got a phone call to help at uh, Litchfield, one of the middle schools. And uh, What year was that? 2008. Okay. 2008. Yeah. Um, went out there with just the intentions of just helping. You know, not really, you know, nothing big. Just, hey, we just need your help. You know, as a fourth assistant. Uh, I got out there and one of the coaches actually kind of gave me the keys, per se, as far as, you know, running the offense. You know, and I'm 22 years old. And I'm like, That's what's come on, man. Like, I'm not, I didn't sign up for this. I just came just to help. I run the offense. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it was 2008. Um, was there a point in your playing career where you thought, hey, man, I'm going to go with my coach? No. Did you, it never no. crossed your mind? No. You no. Well, yeah, my mom used to tell me that, but I, I was like, nah. You, did, nah. you went buying into it? Nah. I was a kid. I wasn't thinking about that. I mean, you know, all kids got dreams of going to the NFL and doing big things, not oh, being yeah. a coach. So, yeah. No doubt. Yeah. Who, who uh, was a big influence in your life? You want to be like a coach, a family member, and why? Uh, probably my father. Um, you know, he was a coach. Uh, he pretty much coached me growing up. I was a coach's kid. Um, he was, you know, I watched him coach a lot of young people. Um, football, basketball, baseball, you name it, he did it. Um, and he did a really good job at it. Um, so it kind of, you know, just rubbed off on me and eventually um, I ended up doing pretty much the same thing. Um, how do you think the game of football is different now than when you played? Um, I mean, you know, kids got a lot of distractions now. I think it's a little bit more, obviously, with, you know, with the technology that plays a big role. But, uh, you know, I would say that, you know, as far as, you know, I think if you try to compare, like, for what we're doing, what we did, and then now what kids are doing now, um, you know, I hear a lot of people talk about passion. You know, kids don't really love it. Um, I won't say they don't necessarily love it, um, but, you know, they just kind of got different things as far as, you know, how they feel about the game of football. You know, it may not be as passionate for us, you know, saying, hey, you know, we love practicing, you know, the two a day, the three a day, those type of things. And compared now, you know, maybe not per se. I think the kids like the game, you know, but you know, from a passion standpoint, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, like, coaching-wise, and I, you know, I ask all the coaches this sometimes, and you mentioned it a second ago, all the distractions. Yeah. Like how how do you keep your guys dialed in the receiving pool? Because I mean, like you said, cell phones, video games, yeah. you know, going out on dates, whatever the case may be. Yeah. Um, from a distraction standpoint, I mean, it, it's just more of uh, you know, a lot of times when we're meeting, uh, you know, obviously, you know, no cell phone. You know, we kind of time management a little bit. Like, hey guys, you know, when we're meeting, you know, it's about business. You know, let's lock in. Let's do the things that we're you know we're asking as far as it's film or. You know, if we're doing a walkthrough or just going over some things, you know, we have time for those things. You know, they just have to understand that. So, you know, we just kind of let them get, you know, the picture as far as how we manage things because that plays a part too. They have time for it. You know. Makes sense. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? You said you coach wide receiver, so mm -hmm. what do you think the best key to wide receiver is? Um, one thing you think you got to have out of receiver to play receiver. Well, one of the things I look for is a guy that's unselfish. Um, a, lot has to, a, a lot has to happen for them to get the football. You know, you got to get the snap ball. You know, the guys got to block. You know, then the quarterback has to make the throw, and it has to be a good throw you know, for you to make the catch. So um, it takes a lot. So you have to really lean on the other ten guys. So you know, being unselfish. I mean, we can talk about all the intent of being able to catch and, and being explosive and you know, route running. But I think a guy that's unselfish that understands that I may get two targets the entire game. Those two targets may be big plays. So, you know, I have to be comfortable with that and understand. Some games it may be 15, some it may be one. You know, it's all about how the game goes. So, you know, unselfish is probably what I what I would say as far as the number one thing. Who's some of the best wide receivers uh, that you've seen on film in high school? High school. Maybe you you know you've seen or um, you could have coached them or coached against them. I think um, you know we have a guy who used to play here. Uh, Darnell Mooney, um, and we, we pull a lot of his old tapes and we show him. Um, he was a really good practice player. 
and just try to get the kids, just try to translate that to them. You know, as far as being great, you can't wait the Friday night. You, know, you have to put in the work, obviously, in the weight room, in the classroom, but, you know, on the practice field. Uh, it's where you have to show us what you can do. So, you know, as far as, you know, from that position, we're, we're, we're always looking for, you know, guys who are practice players, you know, because you, 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 you showcase your talent. And, and for us as coaches, you know, we feel more comfortable as far as game playing and getting you the ball on Friday nights. So. Um, who is a coach that you've coached against, maybe a defensive coach or just say a head coach in general, that you went back and was like, man, that guy's got it going on? Uh, Nobody really nobody stands out as far as it stuck out to me. You yeah. Know, yeah, yeah, nobody really. No matter what you, you guys I mean, try to do, it's yeah. like, man, I can't get nothing more. Out of yeah, thing. yeah. Well, you know, the, I mean, some of the some of the bigger programs as far as that we, we play against at our level, you know, the the the, the Ubers and you know, uh, you know, I, nobody really stands out per se as far as other than that. I got um, you. you know. Um, as far as your coaching career, and we ask a lot of coaches this. The things you've been taught, mm -hmm. how do you relay that nowadays? Because the game's changed and evolved right. a little bit. Right. You know, we used to, I, I used to get snatched up by my face mask daily. Oh, yeah. uh, nowadays, oh, you yeah. see what Jeremy Pruitt's going through right now. Right. How, how, how is your playing days translated into what you're teaching these guys nowadays? Well, uh, you know, when I played, you know, I played under Vince DiLorenzo. So, you know, I see myself doing a lot of things that. You know, he was, you know, kind of instilling. You know, and, yeah. and it shows kind of how much I really paid attention, because um, I would find myself doing that. I'm like, where that come from? But uh, <laughs> as far as trans, and, 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 you know, this is something I think is common with coaches today. You know, how do you reach the kids? You know, so, you know, and everybody has different avenues of going about it. Um, to me, it's coaching. You know, because a lot of people say, well, you know, they don't do the things that I'm asking. Well, if you have an old school mentality, you may want to think about how you teach it. I think there's different ways you can go about it. At the end of the day, it's coaching. You have to get the kids to buy into what you want to do. Otherwise, you know, right, you're not uh, going to be successful. All right, we'll close with this one. Uh, your coaching career, where do you want that to take you one day? Do you want to continue on up and be a head coach? Or what's your goals? For uh, I mean, I won't, I'll never say, I won't say that that's not something that's been thought about, but I think for the biggest thing right now, you know, as far as what we're trying to do here with Coach Smith, um, you know, I, I think it's you know basically both hands on the plow, and we just got to work. You know, we'll see what that what that leads to, but for now, I mean, there's business at hand we got to take care of. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much, Coach. Oh yeah, no problem.